Hello and welcome back to the 25 Ks in GeoGuessr. Today, as partially practice for Reddit League, and also because I will be needing to create the maps for the other divisions for it. And if you don't know, your highest score shows up here in the high scores and you can click on uh, whatever locations they had and you can just see their results. So that's not ideal. So I need to get like a 25k or at least a very very good score so that whatever I uh, come up with for the other seeds isn't on here. So Poland. Um, Poland can be a very very easy country but you can also end up in the middle of nowhere and the signage really matters, uh, not matters, uh, well it matters as well but it varies a lot between like urban or semi-urban locations at least and very rural ones where you might just not find any road numbers for example and road numbers are really the most useful thing in Poland um, because the road system is again relatively well ordered always nice and yeah so that's essentially what we're going to be looking for most of the time so let's get us started Okay, that looks like a place I will absolutely not be able to pinpoint, but shouldn't be too difficult to find. I can take a closer look at um, the uh, surrounding roads, the little side road that's off on the side, for example, once I get down to the pinpointing stage. No idea what that means. I'm assuming it means like a rest area, but I can't read Polish. What do we do? Pretty much the exact same sign in Austria as well that means the same thing. Is it actually? It might like be the exact same sign, yeah. The symbols are a bit different. Close enough. And up there is a little sign in green. The Gosht um, Highway Exit. I don't know what they're called in um, in English, actually. Hmm. That's that's a good sign. Goes Krakow in this direction. Uh, to the south on the S seven, is here, and then the seven thirty two, off to the side. And you can see what I meant with sort of well ordered here. Like you've got fifty, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, but then you've got here eighty six, forty eight, sixty two. Um. So generally you'd think further north for the 32, but here you've got the 27, the 35, the 35 again, and here's the 732, and there's the Gosht uh, highway exit. So we started on this little road here. Do we have anything here on the side? Well, we do have this over there, so there are houses off to the east, but <laughs> that doesn't really narrow it down a lot now, does it? And we don't have a road just yet over on this side. And there is the uh, Dom Wazela something? Dom Wazelni. Uh, this here. So we start over there. So I'm going to say probably here around there or thereabouts. Although you have these these tree sort of almost feels like arranged oh well now they're gone. Um that might help us out a bit. Let me go back to the start. Let me try to get over there again. Okay. So we've got two houses basically right next to each other, although hard to tell if this yeah, it probably is there, and there's a shack attached to it. Um I don't really see a replication of that here anywhere. There's a slight little shack. But if anything, okay, that's a bit far. 
got these houses over there. That could be this, and then we've got that there. So if anything, it's either these or these. And we are slightly south of them, I think. So if like would look exactly to the east. Or also on the other side. So we look pretty much we're looking straight ahead over to these houses actually. So it be even further south. And I think that's about as good as I'm going to get. Might put me like slightly further south still. Let's see. It's hard to tell this this house. Hmm. Sort of a collection of houses again over there. I think might be good enough. Yep, yeah, let's go. Yep, close enough. Uh, was it? Yeah, pretty sure that was the right place. In terms of, like, you know, I've, I was looking at the right houses on the map and not just, you know, getting lucky. Alright, now we're in a bit of an urban area. Let's see if we can get out of these. Probably suburbs, to be honest. Lots of residential buildings here. And there's a sign. For Lublin, Chelm. Uh, brain's not working yet. 74. Which is... Not something... Oh, there. Could be here, yeah. Not on the signs. So, it seems likely to be the place that we're currently at. It's a bit of a roundabout, kind of. Let's see. Wait. Uh, I'm sure on these signs you could find an address somewhere. Yep, Shamosh. Um, da -da -da. This doesn't look like it. This doesn't really look like it either. This looks like it could be it, though. So, and the road goes off pretty much in that, so it's not it. Neither is that. Okay. It's not as easy as I thought to find the right intersection. Because it does look like it would stand out. It could be this, actually. Do I have any shops here? Is that Mars? Mars Distribution? Yep, okay. Let me just quickly double check something on the other side. This is the Lux. Um, oh, there's the street names. Okay, that that helps to confirm quickly. All right, now how did I get there? I went south and I went east. You have some street names here. Yes, but something Mesa, it looks like to me, which isn't something that I'm seeing here. And then we went south again and east again <clears throat> until we eventually get out of here. And right in front of this, a Prusa, that could also be it. Yeah, that makes sense. We might have started up here. Well, not all the way up there, you know, but... Okay, yes. We did. And... There's essentially just one house, and we started slightly north of it. So here. Nice. Round two successfully completed. Round three. Pushta Dabrovka and Bobrovo. Are you going to have something? No. Just the same thing again. And that's what I mean sometimes with, with rural Poland. That you just get signs with kilometers, but <laughs> not even going to know which city we're starting in or town. Um, okay, Mavki. 
and well now we're just on a quest to find some other signs because another thing in poland is for some reason those rural town names can appear quite a lot in different places i once um found a town i think it was called ustianki that had two different instances of the town about a 20 minute drive apart from each other exactly spelled the same way that was that was the moment i stopped looking for polish town names unless i knew more um because if you're like a, an unexperienced player for example or even an experienced player who just hasn't gotten in that situation in poland before for example then you're just like you found the town name but nothing else matches up but you're like well i found a town name it has to be here and then it just isn't and then you're sad um or mad okay i'm not sure this is a very promising direction but i don't think the other one would be either so i'm just gonna continue going down this route Uh, there's another sort of rest area. What was this one? Ah, we'll look at this one then. Oh, yeah, that was just the town exit for the town entrance sign we found earlier. Okay. Uh, that sounds familiar, but it might just be a Polish word. That, I think that's the, the municipality. I'm just assuming that because uh, the German word for municipality is Gemeinde and it says Gmina here, which looks similar enough to be honest. Golub Dobrschin. But maybe keep it in mind. I can't really find it at a first glance. So I'd rather move on because there were signs over there. Which are probably going to be more helpful. Torun and Vavrzezno. Uh, the 15. I think the two roads aren't as well ordered, but here it is regardless. Uh, does it continue past here? No, I don't think so. Okay, but it continues past here. Vavrzezno. And it goes over there. Looks like it ends here. And I find Torun just somewhere. There's Torun. Okay. And Vabrzezno on the 548. It continues there, so that would make sense. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Do I see any of those towns here? There's sign coming up again so i'd like to know what's in the other way on a 15 15 kilometers toward brodnica okay, so we are somewhere there i'll put a checkpoint here we'll go back to the start quickly and i want to see this sign here oh that would have that would have helped all right and bobrova towards the north so it would make sense that we're here Ustada Brovka, four kilometers to the south. Yeah. Is there a church over there? I mean, maybe? Kind of? What else do we have here? That seems like a rest area, a restaurant. Magnolia. Yes, okay. And here we've got one house here. That we're sort of here. Let's double check with the other side. Well, I can't really see anything there behind the bushes. It doesn't look like there's a house there, to be honest, but uh, I still think it's the right place, so let's guess. And yes, it is. That house was probably built afterwards. Round number four. Do we have anything on these because quite often advertisements will at least give you the city you're in uh and it might do here but i don't know if it does it's tummy 
That could be a city name. Just by where it's positioned, I would assume so, but never heard of it. Okay. Let me go out onto this roundabout. I want to look at these signs. Uh, these signs would be preferable. Um, near Krakow again. The 94. Which is, I don't know, Krakow and Katowice. There it is. Okay. And it says Jagorze. Just sort of southeast here. Don't really know. Don't see that anywhere. Okay. Oh, wait, there. It's here. But it doesn't look that urban, to be honest. There's a Toyota dealership here and a Macro. And a McDonald's. Bitchin. I see that anywhere. Yeah, it's over there. Is it here? Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, here it is. There's a macro. And there's a car dealer as well that fits. Right. Let me see. We should be here. There's the McDonald's over there. Actually, no, we should be here even. This, this is the furthest east we can go. So that should be where we are. So let's make a guess. And zero meters. Very nice. And for this last one. Okay, that's a dead end. Please don't be a dead end in the other direction too. That would suck. A lot. It's just from this I'm not going to be able to find a random straight stretch of road in Poland somewhere. Okay, now I've at least got something. Um, what is it called? Uh, Kobukovice. Okay. And Komce, a municipality. Move me. Hmm. Okay. Puchari or Puchari. Let me put a marker here. We can go that direction if we want to later on. But now I want to head this way. Which looked more promising than it does currently about five seconds ago. Yeah, that makes sense. So not even a super small town. It went for about, I guess, a kilometer or two before we got to the other end. Okay, what's that sign? Just the next town entrance. Vanscher Shop. Hmm. I don't think the bus is going to help me out there. And that's going to be too blurry to read. But I score. Hmm. Nothing ringing a bell, and why would it? There's small villages in rural Poland. Finally a good sign. Destochova, okay. Uh it's somewhere oh there it is. <laughs> it's somewhere down here. 786. How far along it? Konyetspor. I would say Chestochova to the north, which is a bit weird, but Okay. 
von ihr spawnen. Also jetzt ist wieder der andere. Es kann jetzt spawnen. In the same direction. Jojoa. Hm. So. Honestly, let me go a bit further. And share show. And this stuff. Got it? Wait. This stuff, yeah. That looks like it would be the bigger one around here. There it is. Okay. Ah, so we came from up here. That makes sense. Yep. Now. We started out in the middle of nowhere again. So I think rest in peace 25k. It's not, not gonna happen unless I get lucky. But I don't remember what the first town was that we came across. I know there was a curve before it, yeah. Okay, yeah. I remember that. I just wasn't sure if there was one more for it. Okay, so that's that curve. Where's this? This is a dead end, unfortunately, but that might be this. It's definitely that road. I think it is pretty far down there to the south, so we're not too far away from that road. There's like one building out there to the north. Is that on the map? This, yeah, it is. So we're way further over there, if that's accurate. Got to look straight to the north. So our line is going across there. Come over here, our line is going like this. Or even slightly further. That I would deem accurate. And then it'd have about, let's say, 30% of the way to that over there. And how far was that again? Just to get sort of an accurate estimation. It is pretty far. And then it starts. It seems a bit like, purely based on my estimations of distances, this seems much closer than what I've put it. So I'm going to go even slightly further over here. Away from that building. I'm just going to assume that my estimation of how far away from this building our line goes past are inaccurate. Actually, I'm going to even go over here. Am I? Let me slightly further back. Alright, I think that's as good as it's going to get. So let's hope. Okay. Damn it. My estimations according to this were actually accurate, but that was just further away. That's weird to me, though. All right. Just trusted the wrong thing there, but let me check that. Uh, is there coverage over there? Well, exactly that part is excluded. That's brilliant. Uh, actually, go over there. Okay, I can't go over there, obviously. So let me see, this is placed here. That is accurate, definitely. This is also kind of accurate. Actually, if anything, it's even further away than I thought. Hmm. I mean, if I had that to judge with, that kind of map, I could have made a more accurate guess and would have placed myself here, probably. That have been more accurate. Let me see. Wait, should put it in the exact same place. Is that possible? I would have placed myself in a better place. Either way, we got close. The end a bit. Ah, yeah, a bit unlucky that I trusted in the wrong thing there. Which is my estimation of distances, which is awful. So less maybe bad luck, more just 
a stupid decision, which I'm the master of. Either way, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching this week's 25k interview guesser. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.